The power of the wind is just underestimated. Air, it's all around us, so we don't think anything of it. But the fact of the matter is air has mass. And when that air has movement, it's incredible. What makes an airplane fly? The propeller on the front has incredible stresses and an incredible force. And it's pulling that air forward and pushing an entire airplane, an entire metal structure filled with people and all their luggage. If instead of putting energy into the flow, we want to take energy out of the wind. We do exactly the opposite. We can harness the energy in the wind, extract energy out of that wind. The amount of mass of that air, that air that blows through that rotor every second, 100,000 kilograms. I can't even begin to fathom what kind of mass that is. Problem is the wind is a huge force and really pushes on these blades. The wind is the greatest at the top and the lowest at the bottom. So as this rotor goes around, these blades fluctuate. There's not a whole lot of design that has gone into this, but it works. So even in this example, we can see that there's a lot of stress and a lot of oscillations in that rotor. This is what wind turbine designers try to avoid. This whole structure feels every one of those oscillations. Two blades are not ideal. If you look at our turbines, we have three blades. Why do we do that? We do that because we can get more energy. Three blades has a distinct advantage. It provides us somewhat of an asymmetry. When one blade is at the very top, the other two blades are at the bottom. So when one blade experiences those high forces, the other two blades are having low forces and help to balance it out. So no blade are at the two opposite extremes at any one time. All right, so the rotor's spinning. We got three blades, we're producing energy. And see over here on the multimeter that we're up and running. So with a three-bladed rotor, how do we make it better? If instead we take a, a rotor from a, from a model airplane, not sure if you can see it from your angle, but these blades have some taper, they have some twist. This is the aerodynamic design. Our wind turbines in the field look very much like this. We have taper, we have twist. So with our new rotor design, you can see we have a much smoother operation of the rotor. Things are a lot more stable. We're spinning a lot faster. And in fact, we're finally spinning fast enough given the setup that we have here to produce energy. We're lighting this LED and on the multimeter. We can see that we're actually producing power. You have gotta get it right. If you're trying to survive 20 years and you're trying to survive a structure that takes 100,000 kilograms of air passing through it every second, you gotta get it right.